Hello friends, I am Man here and welcome to Amazon Webcast. In this video demonstration, we are going to see how to configure NFS share using this uh, manager wizard. So in a previous video, we just see the how to install the NFS in uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 and we also see how to create NFS share by using the older method and we also see how to mount the NFS share on the Linux of client computer. So in this video, we are going to use the uh, new method of uh, creating NFS share by using server manager dashboard and this method is not valid for windows operating system older than windows server 2012 for those you need to use previous methods and uh, let's create a new nfs share by using server manager method so to do that just uh, open the server manager and on that uh, click on file and storage service click on share and uh, on the right side click on task and select new share once new share wizard opens up, uh, select NFS share quick or NFS share advanced as per your requirement. But I'm going with uh, NFS share advanced be because going with NFS share quick, we don't get uh, all the options and goodies, and that's why I'm going to select NFS share advanced. Remember, for NFS share advanced, you must have a FSRM rule installed on this server. I already installed FSRM rule on this server, and that's why I have these options available. So select NFS share advanced, then click on next. Now uh, you can select the uh, server and path for the share. You can also select the entire volume by selecting this, but I'm going to select the custom folder and that's why I type a custom path, click on browse. On a tree tray, I already I created a one folder named share2. Click on share folder and then we have a D column slash share2. Click on next. Here's the specific share name and that is the share name share2. Now uh, this is the remote path to access the share that is SRTF and this is 01 colon slash share 2. Click on next and here you can specify the authentication method but for this demonstration I'm going with a no server authentication. Also select no server authentication as well as enable unmap user access and let's select allow anonymous access. Click on next. Here's about the server authentication is saying that you enable anonymous access to NFS share which requires applying let everyone permission to anonymous users making these changes to the security profile of your systems should only be done if anonymous access is absolutely necessary click on yes now specify the share permission click on add and specify the host you can add single ip or you can add multiple ip addresses so this is the ip address of my client now that is ubuntu and uh, let's uh, specify the permission read and write click on add Click on next and here as you are seeing we have allow everyone with modify permission click on next and specify the folder management properties which type of uh, files and folders uh, you want to store under this and if shared and by default selected options are uh, user files group files and application files click on next and if you want to apply a quota uh, with the help of fsrm you can uh, select Based on the template, and let's select the monitor 500 MB share. Click on next, and here's the confirm solution which we selected. And if you want to change anything, click on previous and then change as per recommend. And then finally, let's click on create, and that's it. So NFS share is created successfully. Click on close, and as you are seeing, we have a share 2 over here. Let's uh, Going to our client computer, and if you see the IP configuration, it's 192.168.49.201. Let's check connectivity with our server, and that is 192.168.49.1. Yep, we are getting the replay back from our server. Okay, so let's run LS. So we do not have uh, any directory under the roots home directory. Uh, let's create one new directory, uh, NFS share. Okay, and uh, let's Mount SRT on GC01 colon share to under another share. Yeah, and if you run the command mount, you can see we have a SRT GC01 share to on root slash another share type is NFS and which we have a permission or hidden right. So this is the way how you can uh, create an NFS share by using server manager wizard and this is the way how you can mount the NFS share on the client computer. So that's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.